Hi guys. Okay, so I'm like kneeling down in my beauty room trying to kind of keep my voice down um, because Steven is downstairs, but today is Valentine's Day um, and I had planned on like looking cute when I filmed this. Clearly I had other plans for myself. Um, I'm actually about to go to the gym in a little bit. Steve and I are just going to be going to dinner later tonight, so I figured I'll work out a little earlier in the day and then I'll like do my makeup and look cute later on when we go to dinner. Um, we're just going to like one of our favorite sushi restaurants, so I'm really excited for that. Normally, we really don't do anything big for Valentine's Day. Like, we're normally just like go to dinner, he'll get me like flowers or something, and I'll get him like some beer and like a bag of Doritos or like beef jerky or something because he doesn't really like candy, so I'll just like get him like you know, something little like that. We don't really do like a big thing, but if you know me, you know two things one. I love to surprise my loved ones. It's like my favorite thing to do. I love to surprise people. Um, and two, if you guys watch the vlog channel, you probably already know this, but Steven is the best. I don't tell him that enough. He does so much for me, so much for our family every single day. Like he is the glue that keeps everything moving and going. Like he's just the, the best ever. Um, and I'm very thankful to have a husband. As amazing as he is, he's so supportive and just, I love him very much. So, and I don't tell him that enough. So. I decided for Valentine's Day this year, I wanted to do something like super special for him because I don't think he would suspect it at all. Um, I don't even think he expects me to give him a gift at all. Oh, I was like, I thought I heard something, but I think it's just Prince. Um, and surprisingly enough, cause like I said, normally we don't do anything big for Valentine's Day. This morning he was like so excited to give me a gift and I was like, what the heck? So he like, right as I woke up was like, I wanna give you your Valentine's Day gift. Like, so I was like, okay, like, I thought maybe he was gonna get me like Dunkin' Donuts coffee or something cause it was like right when I got up and he comes in with this beautiful wallet um, which is like a super thoughtful gift because I have this wallet that I've had for like years and years, probably like seven, eight years now and it's like fraying all at the sides cause I always use it. You know, you're always opening it and stuff. Um, and he bought me this new beautiful YSL wallet. I was like, whoa, like this is, thank you. But like, you know, definitely took me by surprise. I didn't expect that. So it was very kind of him, but I have this surprise for him too, which I think he's gonna just be like, what in the world? Cause I don't think he'll expect it at all. Um, I actually told him, I was like, I did actually get you a gift, but it's running late. It's not here yet, but it's supposed to be like delivered later. So he was just like, oh, okay. Like, what is it like clothes or something? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like you'll have to wait and see. But basically one thing about Steven is that he, is like the most go with the flow, like nothing bothers him, loves everything, easy to please, but he hates the cold weather, um, as do I. And ironically enough, we live in New Jersey and it's freezing here. Like this morning, it was literally like 15 degrees and he brought Prince outside to go to the bathroom. And when he came in, he was like, oh, I really wish we were like in Miami or something right now. And I was like, <laughs> because, Miami is like our favorite place. Um, we got engaged there. I grew up going there all the time. We love it there. It has a lot of sentimental meaning to the both of us. And um, so I booked us a weekend trip to go there. Originally, I was actually gonna have us leave tomorrow, but because Valentine's Day is on a Monday, it would be like during the work week. And then I thought like maybe that would be too short of notice. Like he's spontaneous, but maybe needs a little more notice than that. So we're gonna leave this weekend and just go for a long weekend, have this little getaway. Um, and I think that he'll be so excited and I don't think that he expects it whatsoever at all. So I made these like little card things. And so the first one, it says, what do you always say about this week? Because Steven always says he's like, the week of Valentine's day is always the coldest week of the year. Um, like he like always says that. And it's true, honestly, a lot of the time, like it's just frigid. And then the next one will say, Let's get out of here then. And then he'll open the last one, which has like the details of what we're doing. So I'm so excited. Um, I was gonna wait again till later when I was like all, you know, ready and stuff, but I was like, I can't, I can't wait till too late. Cause our reservation tonight is until like eight o'clock at night. So I was like, I really, I can't wait all day to give it to him. Um, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go downstairs. So give these to him now and capture his reaction. So let's go. I don't know if he's upstairs or downstairs. I think he's downstairs. Steven? Where's your daddy? You see Princey in the background there? Where's daddy? You don't know? Steven, are you ready for your Valentine's Day gift? Yeah. You ready? What is it? <laughs> okay, so it's three phases. You have to open them up. Three phases? Yes, here's the first one. <laughs> What does it say? What do you always say about this week? It's the coldest week of the year. Yes, okay. 
Phase two. So we're on a trip. Okay, phase three. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? Ooh, baby. So we're going this weekend. This weekend? Yes, you didn't read oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. We leave on Saturday. Pack my stuff. I was gonna have us leave tomorrow, but I was like, I don't think Stephen would be able to handle it. Nah. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> Stephen's not very, uh, what's the word? Enthusiastic? Yes. I guess. <laughs> no, I thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Rough one. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice for us to just get away and have a little warmth and do something fun. Maybe me not come back. No, <laughs> we're coming back. <laughs> Love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Hey guys, so we just got to Miami. It's a little cloudy out, but I think I see the sun like peeking through. So I'm excited. Steven's over here okay. because today is like his NASCAR race. So he's watching the race right now. Um, and I figured that I would show you guys the unit. We rented an Airbnb and it's super pretty and has like really nice views and stuff. So I'll show you guys the unit and then we're gonna like check out the hotel and stuff. And then later we have dinner. So I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour. So when you come in, there's like a full kitchen and stuff, which I thought was nice if we wanted to like cook breakfast or something which lord knows we're never gonna do that i always think i'm like oh yeah no shot, <laughs> no shot. we're just gonna go out but i mean you know you do have the kitchen if you want to like cook something while you're here a little kitchen table nice couch yeah cute little area i love the big windows tv over here and then in here you have a bedroom we actually stayed in here a while back a while back with my parents in like a two bedroom uh, Airbnb, but like TV and stuff in here. Another slider out to the balcony. We have really nice city views, and then there's water view down in there. I'll show you guys that in a second. But cute little master. We just got the one bedroom this time since it's just us. There's actually a huge closet though. I was like, whoa, massive walk in closet, which is really nice. I did not bring nearly enough stuff for this. We're only here for three days. Um, but big closet and then just a bathroom through here. I don't know where the light is. There we go. But just a bathroom in here, big like soaking tub shower thing back over there. But I like this building because the location is really nice. Ooh, <laughs> not me like breaking the door. <laughs> um, but it's like in a really central area of the city. We're staying in Brickell which is like a section of Miami that's typically where we like to stay. A little less touristy than like Miami Beach and stuff, but I'll show you guys the view outside. So you get like nice city views over there. Get some of the river, some high rises. And then here is the river as well, which there's a lot of nice boats that come down here, which is nice. We're up so high though that I feel like it's hard to see. Like it almost would be better to be on a lower floor so that you can actually like see the boats because Steven and I like to like watch the boats and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like big yachts and stuff that go down there that's cool to see. And at night, this is a beautiful view so I can show you guys that a little later as well. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Oop, oh, I just dropped the orange. It's okay. <laughs> Looks good. Steven in relaxation mode. This is nice, as it's literally snowing at home. Beautiful today. Hi guys, I just finished ready. I just, <laughs> I just finished getting ready for dinner. Um, we are going to Komodo tonight, which I'm really excited about. It's supposed to be like really good. Like they have sushi, but then they also have like fried rice, like other stuff like that. So I'm very excited. So I'm just putting my earrings in. We were tired, so we took a little nap, but now I feel refreshed and we're actually not running late like we normally are because I was smart and made our Komodo reservation for 9.30 at night because I was like, I know that we're gonna be tired. And so we were able to sleep and now I feel refreshed and ready for a nice little dinner. It's nice, like everything here is open so late so you can like make a 9.30 res dinner reservation and have it be fine. So I'm just getting these earrings in and then we're gonna head out. We're just gonna walk because it's close to where we're staying. I actually even curled my hair. So got that all done. I have this little like Amazon dress on. I just have this dress from Amazon on, really comfy, shipped quickly. 
and we're ready to go. Steven loves the balcony. He's been out there <laughs> for like a long time. Oh, it's so dark. I'm gonna show you guys the view. You love the balcony? Yeah. Oh, it looks so pretty at night. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see the boats coming through now. So pretty. I think the restaurant that we're going to is like down that way, right? Yeah, the restaurant. You can see it. Oh, yeah. Nice. You look nice too. You got your kind of little Miami shirt on. Very cute. Show the vlog. <laughs> I like it. All right, are you ready to go? Yeah. Alrighty. Hi guys. So we are just walking now. There's like this whole like waterway by where we're staying. So we're just walking it because we had some time before dinner. We are just on time people in Miami this time. I don't know why, but we have a little time to kill before our dinner reservation. We're going to keep getting on the river tonight. Um, so I'm excited about that. It's like Greek Fun. food. Yes, yeah. but it's so beautiful. See all the buildings along the water and stuff. So we'll see you guys when we get to dinner. So pretty in here. Such pretty views too. Hey guys, so we are back home. I just finished like unpacking my clothes and stuff. I am sitting on the floor in my closet. Let me know if you guys are immediate unpackers when you get home or you like wait a little bit. I'm an immediate unpacker. Um, like I take everything out, do the laundry, put everything else that like doesn't need to be washed away, get everything like out of the suitcase and put it away where Steven would leave his suitcase for literally months. I'm not even kidding and not touch it. Um, especially now it's worse because like all the clothes obviously that we were wearing when we were in Miami were warm weather clothes, not cold weather clothes. So he doesn't even really need them right now because he can't wear them anyways because it's cold here. So yeah, it'll be quite a while till he unpacks but I'm really excited because I got some new sunglasses from Warby Parker. I wanna thank them so much for partnering with us on this section of today's video, but I've actually really wanted to try their glasses for a while. One of my friends used to work for them and she always had the cutest glasses. If you guys haven't heard of Warby Parker, they're committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. They offer eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses as well, which is awesome. And they're high quality, but super affordable. Their glasses start at $95. So I don't need prescription glasses, but they do have sunglasses as well. So that is what I ordered for my at-home try-on kit. It's actually really easy. They have a quiz on their website so you will just go through the quiz and it will recommend different glass styles for you and then you can get an at-home try-on kit it ships completely free you don't have to pay for anything where you'll get five different styles so these are the five that I picked and then you can try them on in your own house and you don't have to buy any of them if you don't end up liking any of them you can just send it back it's done but if you do like any of them then you can purchase them which is really cool because I have kind of a bigger face so so often I'll buy sunglasses online and then I'll get them like no I hate them but this kind of alleviates that because then you can just send it back and it does include a prepaid return label so you don't have to pay to send it back either okay so I'm gonna take these five Five pairs out so we can like try them and see which ones look cute on me I got like different styles I did like some aviators like that's what these first ones are so these are more like aviator style oh I like these these are like classic me like I love aviators then these ones are also aviators a little different though these ones have polished gold rims where the other ones were silver oh I like these okay I think I like these better these are the silver ones I just feel like the gold is more me okay so these ones are kind of a different style these ones it said were good for wide face which I would agree. I feel like I like the aviators better though. What do you guys think? These ones are a little cat eye action. <gasps> oh my God, I love these too. They're like so cute and retro. Okay, wait, I need these two. I might be getting two of them because I like these and the aviators now. So cute. Okay, and then last but not least, we have these ones. These are cool. I feel like these are like surfer girl, which is not me. <laughs> I wish it was, wish I was cool, but I feel like these are not me. I think I wanna go with the cat eye and the aviators, both so cute. So the at home try on is really a game changer. So you can actually see like how they look on your face and in the comfort of your own home and stuff like that. So I have a link down below in the description box. I'll put it on the screen here as well, where you can try Warby Parker's home try on for free. You can order five pairs of glasses to try on for five days at home for free. No obligation to buy them. It'll ship free to you and it will have a prepaid return label as well. So if you don't like any of them, you can set it back completely free. So try five pairs of glasses at home for free. If you guys go to Warby Parker, dot com backslash kelly steven i'll have it on the screen here and that'll get you five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free these cat eye ones are just such a vibe though like i'm in love they also like feel really nice like, they're definitely high quality too which i love ah so cute obsessed hello you guys i am just trying to get back on track drinking my water right now i haven't like a shaker cup but it's just water but I'm just trying to get back on track with work and everything hydrating now that we're back home always love to travel but love to come back home as well i got quite a few pr packages while we we're gone so i figured i would show you guys some of that 
that stuff right now because I know you guys like that. Okay, first thing I got that I'm really excited about is new from Laura Mercier. This is their Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer. Um, so I love her Tinted Moisturizer, but I think this is new, the Light Revealer Natural Skin Illuminator. So it looks like this, excited to try this. And they sent over this cute little thing, which in this packaging, let's see. Oh, this is cute. It's like one of those little dangly charms that you can kind of like hang off of your phone. So that's super cute, thank you. We got some new color pops, some lippies and some lip liners. This lip liner kit is going to come in handy. I feel like I always lose my lip liners and these look like all the kind of colors that I wear, like pinks and neutrals and stuff. So very excited and this little lippy vault. We got new from Elia. This is the True Skin Serum Foundation. Have not heard too much about this. Let's see what it looks like. It has niacinamide and allotonin. It says it's aloe infused. So thank you. Can't wait to try that. I've been like obsessed with foundations recently and like trying new ones. So that is, is, is exciting. We got some hair stuff. We actually got a decent amount of hair stuff. We got this IGK Extra Love Volume and Thickening Conditioner and Shampoo, as well as the Volume and Thickening Mousse. So I can always use some volume mousse, so that is exciting. Also, this is like all the way over here. Living Proof sent me out their full dry volume and texture spray, which I believe I've tried this. I know I've tried their, their like volumizing spray, so I think this is the same unless it's been like reformulated, but they also sent this super cute little cup, so it says Living Proof, and then may your day be as nice as your hair. Little coffee cup, I thought that was so cute. I will definitely use that for my morning coffee. My hair could use a little help at the moment. Um, we got some new Caudalie. So this is from their Vino Therapist line. We have a, oh, Replenishing Vegan Body Butter. Looks like that. And then a hand and nail repairing cream. My hands are so dry, so I'm about to use some of this right now. Oh, it has a little thing on it, so let me open that up. All right, let's try some of this on our hands because I've been using so much sanitizer and stuff because we're on the plane. Oh, wow. This feels really nice. And it smells even better. Whoa, okay, obsessed with this. Now I have really high hopes for the body butter. That just like went into my hands so nicely, like literally felt like a serum. I'm gonna put a little bit more on actually. And smells so good. It's like very fragranced, but for like hand creams and body creams and stuff, I love that. Woo, love this. Okay, thank you, Caudalie. And then last but not least, we got a package from Rare Beauty. These are their soft pinch liquid blushes and their positive light liquid luminizers. So I'm not sure if these are new or not. No, these are not. I, I own these. I These have been out from Rare Beauty. So it's just like a little send of some of their highlighters and then two of their liquid blushes. So thank you so much, Rare Beauty. And yeah, that was everything. So back to normal life now, back home. We actually have a lot of stuff going on in the pool room. So you guys are gonna see that we have, and then we have some other stuff going on in the family room too, all happening within the next like week or so. So there will be another vlog coming with all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and we will see you very soon in our next video. Bye.